John Reed, JDOD.com. The morning after Sapphire, traditional Dick Hirsch get together. And I'm not even hungover. <laughs> no, we've once again we've commandeered a generic hotel room. <laughs> I try put a sticky do not disturb sticky note on the Let's door. See Let's see how official it looks. So now we step back and take a look at the cloud piece, and right. uh, we were hoping for a lot of clarity. I think we did get some in some ways, but my sense is that most people left confused about SAP's cloud strategies. Would you agree or? Right, I mean, some some things are, are still open. And I mean, what was interesting for me is to see how large, for this large business-oriented group, described this the strategy. Um, and what was in, intriguing was to compare the various approaches. Because you had, um, I would have called the, the HANA approach, which they have really cool applications. And in this, what's, I mean, if you remember Haas's presentation on the top, the most important thing are the consumer apps. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at, for example, what uh, Lars was presenting, the consumer apps really don't play a role. And so this is sort of, I mean, there's a distinction between what the HANA people are doing and what the cloud people are doing, and they really aren't coordinated. And I was expecting more in terms of how these things fit, fit together in one common strategy, not only within the cloud, but also within the whole company. Now, one of the burning questions was, what's going to happen? What's the future of iDesign? Right. You know, um, going into the conference, there was even a sense of like, oh, it's on the chopping block, and this right. was more of a rumor than anything substantial. Right. Um, iDesign partners that you and I know, right. very We're concerned about that. freaking out, and which is understandable. Understandably, because they're looking to right. build practices and right. invest in SDKs. You and I, are unfortunately, are not in the position to put everyone's fears to rest one way or the right. other. That's not our role, we can't do right. that. And I'm not even sure that I would be totally convinced by anything SAP said about that at this point because it does have to evolve. But one thing we do know is that investment in by design is going to continue right. on some level. So we definitely know right. that, that that is gonna go forward. Right. Um, but there are questions, right? Because you've talked about it in terms of um, is, is by design going to be a platform? It's, it's the SaaS versus PaaS thing, right? right. Can you explain why, why that's important? Well, I mean, let me take a step back for a second. I mean, I view by design as critical because it provides business content. I mean, and mm -hmm. this is, if you look at the other SaaS applications, they don't cover the, the full spectrum. Right. So all, although Lars says we don't need the suite, or the suite is less important, that is business process knowledge that you need. Right. Um, if you want to have a full spectrum. Right. Um, so the one thing that was always in interesting, which is always sort of to compare what the past was in terms of SAP's cloud strategy, which was more, um, I would say, um, platform as a service oriented. You had the edge and the core, this, these, are, these are gone now. But if you look at success factors, as I said this last December, they have a very application, a SaaS application orientation. Mm -hmm. And now when Lars is coming in, you see that these four areas which he described during the, his, his uh, keynote, those are now the focus, and everything else revolves around that. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's, an, that's an important change. That not only influences how they market it, but as well how they deal with partners, how they deal with the ecosystem in general. And to some extent, uh, okay, so it's apps over platform to some extent, right. but it's also, uh, what do you call it? maybe more like silo apps over suite in a way? Right, definitely. Um, which definitely. is not to say that, that SAP is abandoning the concept of suite. Right. But, but I heard Jim Snobbe say basically the same, which was, right. and, and part of it is from a customer po vantage point. They're saying that larger customers find these suites too right. complex still. They can't imagine implementing them. Right. Um, and yet, a lot of us in our gut feel like there's a future there. And, and as you say, that this process knowledge that's so hard won. Right. Like, like when you pull out the different parts of by design, even if you enhance them and make the UI sexier, um, right. you're losing one of the biggest selling points, the product, right? Right. right. So. And I mean, because that's, I mean, if, if you look at how these things fit together, um, you might have various applications which are spread apart, but there's a process that's underlying all this. And the thing is how that fits together. And Lars had the idea that companies just buy one application and then another application, they, they put them both in the cloud. Um, then the question is going to be, do they relate to one another? Um, how is the integration? How is the integration with my on-premise environments? And this is also very complicated then because you have um, a variety of integration scenarios um, which come about which are non-trivial. Mm. 
right? So cloud has moved higher on SAP's priority list in the sense of, well, they bought, they spent three, four point four billion dollars on a cloud product, but then there's the platform piece and 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 developer piece and. Do you think cloud is a priority for SAP? Did you get that sense? It seems I mean, like I think compared to HANA, it's not as much. Right. I mean, but we we've always known HANA is sort of the the the, the, the golden the child, golden child, <laughs> favorite son yeah. of the um, the upper level management people because I think that's where they see that the, the money is going to be coming from. But if you look at all their strategy, cloud is always in there somewhere. So mm -hmm. they can't just forget it. And the main thing is, is that these things are integrated in sort of a, a global strategy. And that's, that's still not there yet. And I mean, what's also strange is that if you look at the integration that's necessary, um, there's a new integration as a service which is coming out, but that is still very vague, very vague. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something that's definitely necessary to figure out what role this integration as a service plays. Does it replace NetWeaver PI, which I doubt? Um, is it the only choice if I want to have um, integration be between like, a, a success factors and my on-premise world? These are questions which definitely have to be answered. Well, let me ask you about that then, because I know that one of Lars Stoggart's principles around cloud is around what he calls loosely coupled. Right. Um, have you thought about that in the context of the need for integration and what? Well, I mean, what it's. That means? I mean, it's. Then, I mean, if, if you view the idea that you have various packages and these packages are made up of one, two, multiple applications, um, like I said, the integration, if they're loosely coupled, then you need to integrate them. The question is how that takes place. Mm -hmm. um, and that's still, I mean, it's, it's placed in this integration of the service, but that's still very vague. And you and I have also talked about how for a lot of these cloud solutions to be effective, uh, they really need a lot of last mile ingenuity from partners right. who can, and this right. is where the whole apps versus platform right. thing really comes to a head, right, around right. issues like this, because right. uh, I've heard more than one cloud person at SAP say, yeah, we really need partners in here with their industry expertise right. really taking this, that last mile to add like a really transformative value to something as opposed to a more generic application. Right. Do you think that's an issue? Well, I mean, we also have to remember that, as Lars said, they have other partners in the integration. They have Boomi and other MuleSoft. So they, they're, they're not concentrating everything on the, the new integration as a service. Um, but that would definitely be an opportunity for, for partners to do this integration work. Um, the question of whether it's going to be standardized, whether it's going to be customer specific, whether they're just, just going to have out of the box connectors, I don't know, unfortunately. So, in terms of trying to simplify this and really have a huge impact, do you think a good move by SAP would be to really invest in the NetWeaver cloud and, and even include the by design and line of business SDK components in that and really have it be comprehensive and that's the cloud platform for anyone except that you have yeah. the HANA Op Cloud as the only exception because that's a little different? Would that be the simplest I mean, way to go about it? I mean, what, what, what's always important to remember is that the NetWeaver cloud cannot exist on its own. As a, as a technology, it needs to have the integration. Um, it needs to either have the, the on-premise integration or the integration with other on-demand environments. And whether these are by design or success factors, um, assets, that has to exist. So you have to, see, you have to see it as one offering involving the technology and the business logic. Otherwise, you're, it, it will fail. Mm -hmm. I did have a meeting with Lars on the last day. Uh, because of the nature of the meeting, we agreed not to get into the specifics of the content yet, but one thing I do know is that he's listening and thinking through these issues right. hard. Um, this idea that he's not, I think, is a misconception, uh, but there's a long way to go. So this is also a customer conference. It's, it's Sapphire ASUG. Right. Some of our mentor friends would be really upset with us if we didn't mention the fact that there's customers that come here to try to understand issues. Right. So, so maybe as we wrap this video, we could just ask you, from a customer perspective, what do you think SAP could do in the next few months before, before TechEd, as we head into TechEd, to get this cloud message clear and, and, and have a strategy that's actually going to help customers? Well, I think the one thing is that they, they have to have a strategy that, in, they have to, to have a description that includes all these offerings. Because you have to see how things fit together. I mean, as you said, the hand app cloud is there as well. Where does it fit into it? And in terms of messaging, they just have to have a, a, a clean message 
that customers understand because I think that's right now I mean you hear all the analysts saying things are still cloudy I mean that's because the the message still isn't um, still isn't really um, complete yet I mean but they're still working on it I mean Lars did a lot to sort of describe this change towards particular applications which is useful because that's basically where it's coming from um, and based on his experience that's probably how he wants to go to the um, go to market strategies focus on these applications but if I'm a customer the question is who am I going to be dealing with and I might be dealing with a partner as well so it's very important that SAP talk to partners and make them understand it show them how they fit into this I mean I haven't seen anything about for example how the success factors partners fit into this I mean, Neo is probably going to be an opportunity for them um, to have new extension points, but that's something that has to be described as well. All right. Well, maybe we're a little less clear, a little more clear, a little less cloudy. Right. Uh, I am. The good news for SAP is they have they have uh, tech at right around the corner. Right. It's not that far from now, and they have another chance to take what they've built here and try to clarify more. So right. we'll see. Okay. Look forward to Looking your blogs. Forward. Okay, they're coming up. Thanks, man. Okay, thanks.